So hopefully the fifth time is a charm. Um, I decided to um, uh, try live streams for um, questions and answers from uh, um, people in the comments. So um, one person was asking how to get the um, Greeks. So let me show you how to get the Greeks and just play around with it a bit. So let's, let me just call this notebook um, option Greeks. Um, I've been bad with GitHub. Um, I've, I will try to um, be better with that moving forward and um, put things on GitHub. Um, but because I play around with things, sometimes they don't work right away. But anyways, let's show you how to get the option Greeks. So first, of course, we connect the interactive brokers with iBean Sync. So from iBean Sync, import star. Util.start loop is needed uh, for the nest uh, in sync nest asyncio uh, thing for uh, Jupyter Notebooks. We can talk about that another time. So like we connect, of course, to IB, IB equals IB, um, port equals whatever your port is, whatever your client ID you want. So this is connect to ID, um, connect to ID, um, I'd be that connect like this. Okay. Uh, so I guess I already used this. So, um, oh, maybe I, I'll do client IDs one. Okay. So now, um, now uh, let's, um, um, let's, uh, the first thing we want to try is we want to um, uh, define uh, the option contract that we want the Greeks for. So let's just do um, te uh, te uh, Tesla call equals option symbol equals Tesla. Um, le let's do a next week expiry. So let's do 2024, one uh, 26 is next week's expiry. Um, let's do strike, uh, let's make the strike uh, 220 and let's make the currency, um, uh, sorry. The most important thing of course is the strike the expiry and the right. Let's make the right equals call. Uh, capital C for call, lowercase, uh, I mean, um, capital P for put. And then of course you need the exchange smart, you need the currency equals USD, and then um, that's a Tesla call. And let's qualify the contract to get all the other information. Okay, so now um, we need to request uh, market data or I'll call it um, subscribe to market data. So we do uh, Tesla call ticker equals IB direct market data um, symbol, e, um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, request market data contract equals uh, Tesla call. Um, we keep it like this, false, false, okay. Um, so uh, let's just not do that, let's do this. So now um, there's like four types of Greeks you can get. Types of uh, Greeks, implied vol, option price. So one can be based on bid, uh, based on ask, uh, based on last trade price, and then there's based on um, IBKR model. I have no idea how to see the chats because um, so I'll, I'll see after the stream, I think if someone chatted or before, um, but I see that there's two viewers. Um, uh, anyways, I have no idea who they are, but um, okay. So um, these are the types of Greeks um, you could get, right? So let me show you guys um, how to get that. Um, by the way, uh, if you want more info, you can go to um, TWS uh, API model Greeks. Uh, there's all is in the TWS uh, thing you get information about like available tick types, and you'll see like there's model uh, model computation is like the model Greeks. This is like the um, option model um, that um, interactive brokers has. And this is like the last option price to ask uh, bid um, uh, option computations. So let me just show you guys how it works. I think that's better. Um, so 
um, the bid one we would do like um, Tesla call ticker dot bid uh, Greeks. And then you see, you get the implied vol. Um, that just, they give you that for free. You get the delta, the gamma, the vega, the theta, all the Greeks. Um, and uh, you get the option price. Um, why on earth is theta negative? That's really, really, really bad. Um, theta should not be negative. Something is wrong because it's a call. Um, it's, I mean, it's weird. Uh, ask Greeks. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm so stupid. I'm so dyslexic. Um, theta is negative because theta is the time decay. I mean, I mixed it up with delta. Okay. But the bid is based on the bid price and the ask is based on the ask price. As you see, the bid price has a higher underlying price and it has a, um, and the ask has a lower, um, um, uh, Okay, this makes sense. Ignore the, the ignore this for now. Um, the problem with these things is it's like it's based on like uh, current market data and it changes so fast. So you almost have to like simultaneously run it, like maybe like uh, this. Um, so, anyways, the bid um, is always um, um, lower than the ask. Um, so as you see, the bid, the option price is. 5.49 and the ask is 6.05 um, because that's the price you can uh, sell it and this is the price you can buy it. Okay. Um, and then based on the last trade price, meaning um, um, the, the, all the competition is based on the last trade price. You do last Greeks and then you get um, based on the last price. But there's also something that I think is seems a little bit better and it's based on like a model. It seems like a little bit more robust. So there's like... Um, I call it model based. It's like Tesla call ticker dot model Greeks. This is based on the model. So like you get like the implied vol, you get the delta, the option price, and this is based on the model. And I think this is a little bit more robust. I want to also maybe talk about a few other things. There's like a few methods like um, calc implied vol. So there's a method that you can do IB dot um, calculate implied volatility. Uh, let me just rename it, Vol volatility, and that, um, you give it a contract, and you give it, like, an option price, so let's, uh, let's make the option prices based on, on the model Greeks, so we'll get it, like, um, we'll do, like, model Greeks, we'll do option price equals model Greeks dot op price, We'll do uh, underlying price is model Greeks dot und price. And you know what? While we're at it, we'll get the delta gamma equals model Greeks dot uh, gamma equals model Greeks dot delta. Um, uh, let's get the implied vol. Because they, they already have the implied vol calculated here. Um, so the implied vol is um, is going to be model of Greeks uh, implied vol. Okay, so you there's also this method called um, calculate implied volatility, right? So um, this one, what you do is you do the contract, you, you put the option price. Um, so this is like opt price, and then you put the um, uh, underlying price, and it give and it spits out an implied volatility. So um, this is a method they have. They have their own model for that. Um, just real quick, let's just see how this compares to the um, implied volatility um, calculated um, with the uh, model Greeks. Uh, as you see, the number is not exactly the same, but very close. So anyways, there's this method to calculate implied volatility. There's also a... Um, this one is more useful. Uh, I use it all the time. Is calculate um, uh, uh, opt price. I think um, IB uh, calculate um, option price price. Uh, and this, what what you do is this is useful if like you want to know like okay if the stock price changes, 
uh, by X, uh, what would the new option price be? So you write um, Tesla call uh, volatility, it would make it implied vol. And then we're going to uh, have the um, underlying price. This is the price we want to change to. So like, let's say the current um, uh, price, uh, uh, the current um, underlying price is, uh, let's say here is 213.95. So if there's a miracle and Tesla changes to like, um, um, I'll call this price change equals five. Let's say there's a miracle and Tesla changes to um, 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 new price equals price change plus um, price. So let's say there's a miracle and Tesla's price changes uh, by, increases by $5, right? So the question is, how would this impact the option price? So we can get right new price here, and I, I messed up. What did I mess up? Uh, new price, um, implied vol. I, um, uh, what did I mess up on? Uh, volatility, underlying price. Uh, must have messed up somewhere. Oh. Uh, did I mess up? Oh, sometimes they give you crap when you, when you're off by uh, when you don't have two decimals. So maybe I'd do something like uh, this. Um, I have no idea if this will fix it, but let's try. Um, uh, connection error. Oh, when you have a connection error, you're screwed forever. So. Um, okay, great. So yeah, this has to. Um, NP that round uh, to um, to make two decimal points to not screw things up. Okay, this is important. Okay, so now um, that this shows you how, like, okay, this says like a Tesla went up five bucks. The option price would have changed from like the old option price, which is five dollars and eighty one cents, to um, if Tesla goes up five bucks the option price would be eight dollars um so like almost three dollars more um just to make sure that this number makes a little bit of sense um you could um, um you could uh use there's like a, a, a an estimate based on the greeks um this is better for small changes so let me show you guys like uh chat uh gbt um this is based on like taylor expansion right so there's like um, saying that like, okay, the change in the option price um, is roughly the same as the change in the stock price times the delta plus half gamma times uh, change in the stock price squared. This is like a, for, a formula for, um, it works for small changes in the underlying much better, but um, just to see that like the formula kind of makes sense. Um, We'll do Tesla call. Uh, we'll make our own formula. We'll do like def um, uh, uh, um, new option price estimate, and we'll call it. We'll have like um, a new um, we'll have like a old option price. We we'll have delta gamma, um, and we will have a change in the stock price. So then we'll have the formula, we'll do return old option price plus delta times change in stock price plus one half times um, gamma uh, times change in stock price squared. This will be an estimate. Um, so let's see if this gives us like something that's reasonable. So, um, so the new the old option price would be um uh opt uh, price gamma uh delta and gamma we defined above um so now um change in stock price uh, i call it price change so so let's do price change uh eight dollars and six cents compared to the the calculation here is eight six oh it's very close actually uh, I thought that was interesting. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys, uh, hope this answers the Greek question. You can do like um, uh, dot, um, uh, bid Greeks, last Greeks, model Greeks, etc. 
let's cancel the market subscription. Cancel uh, uh, market data. Cancel market data. Uh, let's do um, let's a call and then let's uh, disconnect from IB. From IB. IB. I disconnect. I really hope the volume works this time. I hope this answer.